Avery and Adam will be the main budding journalists who will gather for Westfield High School's newspaper every achievement, every loving memory, every quote that will tell as much of the story as possible about their much admired principal. We have been completely humbled by the responsibility. Even if you never even spoke a word with him, his impact was felt the moment you walked in as a freshman or the moment you left as a senior. A huge task that listening to these bright young seniors. We have reached out to everyone we could possibly think of from his frat brothers to his people from the army and uh, college friends. You can tell they are well prepared to do. Dr. Derek Nelson was a leader in Westfield and in his hometown of Plainfield. He is already deeply and sorely missed. One custodian spoke about the fact he looked at all of us the same. He saw all of us the same. So that respect came through. Selfless, loving, and loved are words spoken about his life. Dr. Derek Nelson fell into a coma earlier this year. He was donating bone marrow for a family's child he did not know, a child more than 3,600 miles away in France, simply because he was a match. Dr. Nelson dedicated his life to serving others. And somehow, somehow he also managed to serve in the U.S. Army Reserves for over 20 years, and he served our country in the Middle East. Dr. Nelson is survived by his parents, Willie and Juanita Nelson, a six-year-old daughter and a fiance. He is also survived by the thousands of young lives that he helped nurture. It's really tough right now, and we want to just commemorate him and honor his legacy.